Hey everyone, it's Charlie here from the Layout Lab again. Welcome back to episode three. Last episode, we managed to start shaping out some rooms. Took a little bit of time because of the angled rooms and the interior walling, but we've now got this room here. We've got the walk-in closet room set out and we've got the sort of shape for this sort of ensuite of this bathroom area here. So what we are going to do this episode is we're going to start adding in some doors so we can actually see where we're going to get in and out here. We're going to get the stairs placed. Um, get some windows placed in and hopefully start to feel like a bit more of a floor plan then and then I'll show you at some stage how we can zone off certain areas so we've got the dining zone up here we've got the kitchen zone and then the living and family zone here so we're going to try and get all that done in this episode so jumping right in let's jump straight in with doors so on Rayon this tool that we've got here and this website we're using they've got their own block library so you can jump straight into here and just type in door what it'll do, it'll give you some sort of standard door sizing. So I think we're going to go for this one here. Don't think we need any others. Great. So what you can do here, you can just drag the doors into the plan. So let's go with the front door first. Let's get that snapped into place. It's pretty much centralized over here. Flip it around the right way. And that's door number one in. Now, to me, actually, now looking at it, that's a bit of a narrow door. So let's go back to door again. Let's try this one instead. This one looks a little bit wider. Yeah, that's a bit more of a better sized door. So we're going to drop this into plan. That's the right way round. Roughly centralize it, give or take. There. So what else have we got door wise? We're just going to copy and paste these because it's quicker. We're going to drag a door up to here. Annalisa's got it so it's set this way round. And there's also a, another door directly ooh, directly up here. And same, flip that, flip that. So that's the entrance into there. So what we can actually do is um, I think these are little built-in closets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a wall here just so we can build them in. And if we zoom in here, we can tidy this bit of wall in up here. So let's shift the door across, bring this wall to there, drop it on the outside. So we just need so it definitely lines up. Perfect. A little zone for the wardrobes there. That is that. I'm going to bring this door this way a little bit. OK, so what have we got next? We've got um, door here. Now, this is like a slidey door. I don't know if we've got sliding doors here, so let's find out. Sliding door. OK, let's try this. It's quite a wide one, but what this is showing you, if I zoom in here, it's showing you this is the actual door gap here. This is the actual wooden part of the door, and then this is the gap that it slides into. So that is actually about right. We've got another... It's like an opening here, so we'll figure that out shortly for there. Um, we then need to have a sliding door into the pantry. OK, so what we're going to do is we're just going to grab this door here. Actually, it's just as quick to drag one here. Slide it across. Get that into play. So that's your pantry open door as is. This looks like it's going to be an opening as well, so we'll sort that out shortly. And then I think that is it, except for the toilet door, but we'll sort that out shortly. Windows here, I'm guessing these are double doors open in here, actually. So let's try and find a double door that fits. Let's go with this one. And although they haven't actually said which way, I think it's probably better that it opens out. No, most of them actually open in, I'm just thinking into the house. So let's go into the house for now, and then you can open to go straight out. OK, so just checking there's no more doors and it comes to the same for windows then. So if we go into window and let's go for a standard meter because we can just. Open them up as we go, so. Let's start There's a window across the back here. Now, these are never going to be exactly in the exact same places we've got them, so we're just going to go roughly. So let's get this centralized here. Yeah, OK, roughly copy, paste, a window right into the corner here. And another window right here, so it's a big open bit down the section here. Same on this opposite side. Window right into the corner. 
and a window snapped across there. And then I think this is a window, really long window here and another really long window. So what we're going to do here. So if we go down, align that roughly to the bottom of there. Yeah. Let's drag it another window in so it snaps in properly. That's it. We've got a little window that aligns up with there first. Copy and paste that one because there's another window that parallels to here. What I want to try and do is get these two to to line up. Let's see, it has worked. So that and that. Yeah. Okay. So that's that. We've then got a large, a bit of a gap, two foot gap, then a large window. So if we go here. We're going to snap this window into here, but for two foot gap. Then we're going to make a pretty large window, six foot window. Yep. And then we've got it written down as one, two, three, four, five. What guess? Two foot gap, then another six foot window or five foot window this time. So copy that, slide it down. Two foot gap. Then we can change this to five foot. Let's slide that back up again. And then that's it, because that's where the stairs go. Fine. So down the bottom window, we've got a window on this wall here, pretty centralized. We've got those funky windows in the corner again. So we've got a window here, right to the corner. And then another window that snaps right there. Okay, door, 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 door. Let's have a look at the back wall here. So we've got a window in the kitchen. Let's start. Window, window, that's open there. So we've got a window in the two windows in the corner here. Yep, and then same in this corner. Fab, and then a larger window down here by the kitchen. So it's quite a, it's a five foot window, pretty much aligned to the bottom of this. So if we get one of these, paste, select the window, copy, paste it. We're going to make it five foot long. What we're going to do is we're going to align it to here. We can do here, align top. So that now snaps to there. We actually want to bring it slightly down so it aligns with the bottom part. It's fine. Kitchen. So there, that's the windows in place. Starting to look more of a floor plan now. Next thing is we can add in the stairs, we said. So let's see if we've got a U-shaped stair. We have. Fantastic. So let's do that. And it's going to be up that way. That's perfect. So we're going to put that there. Obviously, it needs to shrink um, a little bit. So let's bring it in at an angle because it actually comes down to. It's not the best idea that because we actually need to do. Is flip it according to the plan so it looks that way. Although this is the arrows are the wrong way, so I haven't yet figured out how to edit this block. Unblock, let's try that. I hope that's not done it. Okay, so although the arrow is technically saying you go down this way, we know that we actually go up that way. So that gives you roughly where the stairs are going to go. I think actually we can make it slightly bigger. Up there because actually this top bit here you've got plenty of room to walk through still 
three foot. So let's have a quick check. 2.9. So let's make it ever so slightly narrower. Two and a half feet. Perfect. So that's roughly where the stairs are going to go. Now, the next part we need to work on is this workbench here. We can add that into the garage. So let's do that now. So if we zoom in a little bit on the workbench, we've got one, two, three and a half foot off that wall. So if we do an interior wall and double check, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and a half foot. So if we delete the garage, actually, the easiest way to do this is zone from this corner. And we're going to go 9.5 feet, click, and then we're going to go 3.5 feet, click, and there's your workbench zone. Wall that in here with an interior little wall on the outside. Perfect. And then the rest of that is for the garage, I'll tell you what, actually. This is which is where it goes a zone divider. So we can basically zip off that. So then that becomes a zone rather than that whole zone there. So workbench, garage area. And now this is new opening. Okay, insert select an insertion point on a wall. Ah look. We can just do that. And that's just added a window. I'm guessing. Ah, okay, so that's if you just want to insert that. Okay, okay. So what we're gonna do here is opening i think we can get a wall opening yet fab so sliding the wall opening in and trying to drag it is going to be the difficult part Okay, so this is not going to plan quite easily. Let's try and get. What they should be doing. Let's try down here, actually. And then. Is that not snapping into the wall? Okay, so what we're going to do here then? Easiest way, if it's not going to play ball too easily. We'll just draw our own wall in. Okay, and then zone divide that to there. So that is the pantry and that is the garage. Okay, so let's now look at more zone dividing and try and get this kitchen area zoned out. So I think personally, if we delete this, and we go into the zone divide tool by the looks of that it, the kitchen runs along there so what i'm going to do here is literally this bring this down a little bit so that snaps into there so we should be able to zone that section as the dining area this bit's going to be the kitchen and what i'm going to do then is do another zone divide we're going to make it for easy sake snap it to there that's your kitchen Got your living area and then the family room is going to come from the tip of this window so if we're going to do a zone divide let's go from there to there didn't quite go as planned there to there a zone there and we're going to do another zone divide along here
what I want it to do is I want it to snap to okay what we'll do then is we'll just bring this up to there zone there and then this is going to be the hallway zone great so the zones are in that's all outside that's external so if we zoom out again a little bit more so now we can see if we zoom in one stage pretty much everything on the plan is drawn wall wise so we've got family room living area hallway this front i think it's sort of a bedroom closet downstairs or like shower room Workbench area in the garage or carport, pantry, kitchen, living, uh, sorry, dining, and the outside patio area. So, thanks again for tuning into episode three. Got quite a little bit done there. Windows are now in, doors are now in, entrances are now in. The next thing we need to do is start fleshing out this downstairs and getting some furniture in place so we can start working out. So, come back and join us in episode four. And you'll be able to see us start building up and getting some furniture in place. Cheers.